Hi, Akwaba. Welcome to the Melinated Kitchen. I am Abna Nyakwa. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and watching our channels. Last week, we did a kutumbi abu. I hope you tried it. Today, we are making a banana muffin. I have to get some snacks for my girls, and I thought, why not? Let me just share with you. So, we're going to the kitchen, and we are making We start with our banana and you can tell that this banana is very ripened. This is what you need for the banana cake. Uh, banana, you get the best nutrients from banana when it's at this stage actually, not when it's um, unripened. So this is the best time to eat, even eat banana and also use for baking. We have this, um, today I'm using oats flour. So this is my oats flour. So instead of the regular flour, I'm using oats flour, one cup of oats flour. And then this is my wholemeal flour. That's half cup of wholemeal flour. I have my quarter cup of, um, of brown sugar. I've actually halved the sugar because normally it's more is used. And then I have my quarter cup of, um, of coconut oil this I'm using instead of butter so it's the same amount of sugar of coconut oil to butter I have here my ground flax seeds I'm using ground flax seeds also in place of eggs so an alternative for eggs is brown is um it's flax seeds ground flax seeds so you mix with water I'll show you how to do that I have my three three quarter cups of um, almond milk. We are using this, this is a plant-based milk instead of the regular cow's milk. And then I have my crushed um, walnuts. So that's there to go. You can add other nuts if you want. You can add almonds. You can also add chocolate chips, dark chocolate chips to it. But today, this is what we are having. So we start. We are starting with, uh, with peeling our banana can tell it's gone very soft so it's here yeah. so we start by mashing uh, bananas so I'm just going to mash everything so it's smooth, so I get it in a paste form. So the bananas are very soft and easy to mash because they are very ripened. I think it's best to do this way. That's our banana smash. Bananas are high in potassium. That's good for your heart health. Bananas have vitamin C. They have mag magnesium. That's good for your skin. Bananas help to give you um, easy digestion. And it has a lot other more to offer. So now a banana is crushed in a paste form. So we add we add uh, 
sugar that's uh brown sugar you add a uh, coconut oil in place of uh, um, uh, butter then we add this is the black seed so to, to do the black seed instead of the the eggs replace the eggs we do one tablespoon to three tablespoons of water so this we are using we are supposed to use two eggs so we are using two tablespoons of flax seeds and that goes with that will be six tablespoons of water So this replaces two eggs, two whole eggs. So we pour our flax seeds. But flax seeds are good for you because they are packed with a lot of nutrients, nutrients, a lot of oils, also for your skin. So we add this, and then in goes our wholemeal flour. Let me use the proper spatula, our flour, and then I add my oats flour, and then I pour in the almond milk. So at this stage, I'm just going to mix all up. But before that, I'm going to add. Uh, this is half teaspoon of baking soda. So I just add half teaspoon of baking soda and a pinch of salt. So I mix them all up. This it's really packed with nutrients and it's a very good snack for you so instead of bread or instead of even the normal um, donuts for your kids you can have this for them and they are, it's going to be very beneficial to their health so now it's mixed up nicely and you can see the banana bits also in it which is okay so i add my crushed walnuts you can add almonds to it you can add um, chocolate chips to it but this i'm eating with apple sauce so i don't want the flavors to clash too much so i just stick to the crushed um, walnuts and that will be it for today so it's okay now and I'm going to put them in the baking tin and then it goes in the oven so of the baking soda is going to rise so when you are pouring it you are filling it up in the pan you have to give a little room for it to rise it's up to you can do it in one big baking dish which is also fine i'm going to have this with apple sauce which i made earlier it's just made by cutting my apple adding a little brown sugar and then you put it on the heat low heat and it works out by itself i put parchment paper at the bottom of the pan so that it doesn't stick 
but you can always um, grease it a bit with oil or something that would grease. Yeah, there's oil for greasing the pants. So that's it. It's ready to go in the oven. And this will go in the oven for just about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how hot, depending on your oven. But 100 and, 150 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. So now it's 150 degrees Celsius and we're setting it for 20 minutes. I put it in, there's two of them. If you have a bigger oven, I think 15 minutes will do, but because I'm putting the double in, that's why it takes 20 minutes. So we're waiting 20 minutes and it will be done. So there you go, my banana muffin with walnuts. And here I have my apple sauce on it and this is going to be yummy. With my green tea, I'm having my tea time. Lakita Marie, co-hostess of Blind Guy, his wife, they are live. You are invited. And I'm sure your girls would enjoy this too. So till we meet again next week on the Melinated Kitchen, it's bye for now. <laughs>